Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is iQuery for the iQuery Adventure Series. Okay. Today I'll be talking about Afri Power Pure Sine Wave Home UPS series. It's actually a pure sine wave inverter. It's called the UPS system because it can actually swap from the main grid electricity to your storage, which is the battery. But in this application, we'll be using it for solar. So we'll be connecting solar to it, and the solar will provide electricity, and it will charge the batteries, and it will invert the DC current to AC current. All right, so let's see what they call their salient features. Less no-load current. Great power saving up to 30%. System efficiency more than 88%. Backup time is more than 12 to 15 percent. Charging that's the battery charging at very low voltage till 90 volts. Silent operation and pure sine wave output. Change over time less than 10 microseconds for UPS application. Triple protection, that's overload, short circuit, and wiring faults. SMPS-based battery charger increases battery life up to 40%. Compatible with all types of battery, that's the lead acid, the SMF, and the tubular, and 100 amp hour to 200 amp hours. Independent charger feature, charge the battery when battery is deeply discharged. Okay. These are the claims from AfriPower. These are actually claims. When you start to use these gadgets, you will understand what they can do and how they actually perform. Okay, some interesting features here to note is that the pure wave, the pure sine wave output that's very important and the silence, the operation is silent, so it doesn't it's not noisy. So when they're talking about battery charging, they're actually referring to using the grid or a generator like a diesel or petrol generator to charge your batteries. We won't be using that because we are going to be charging our batteries with solar power using a charge controller. And that is actually the best way to charge batteries. Solar charge controllers are the best. The MPPT series charge controllers are the best because they charge your batteries so intelligently. These charge controllers are so smart that they make your battery stay new as good as new for years yeah so we're not going to be using this their independent charge feature to charge our batteries we don't want to know the type of this is the smps based charger battery charger and all that we don't want to know all that we are using charge controllers mppt and for our batteries to keep those batteries healthy for a very long time all right so let's check out this Afri Power Pure Sign Wave Home UPS Inverter. Okay, I got it from my neighbors. I'll be installing it shortly, but I think I need to know what it can do. So, first things first, we we'll go through the user manual. All right, first page. Thank you for selecting Afri Power Home UPS. Blah 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 blah. Home UPS normally. How to use this manual? Blah 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 blah. Safety instructions, please read this manual carefully before system installation. That's what we're doing. And um, installation and precautions for use. Always connect the UPS to a two pole, three wire ground main socket. These are just basic electrical precautions you should take naturally. There's a live, there's the et, and there's also neutral okay so Afri power so be extra cautious when working with metal tools yes so you don't short circuit your batteries very important you don't let metal tools fall on the contact points of the battery and shut them up by connecting negative to positive it's actually not good it can damage your batteries that way okay we recommend that you have point-to-point -point wiring of the UPS never disconnect the battery cable while the UPS is on. So now, never disconnect the battery cable while the UPS is on. 
I have a question concerning this point. When you use a low voltage disconnect device, which actually cuts off the battery when it is discharged to a set amount, that's a set voltage. For example, you can set your 12 volt system to disconnect at 12 volt on the dot, which is about 50% depth of discharge. And it cuts off the battery from the inverter and the inverter goes off. Is that going to damage the inverter in some way? Okay. Ensure proper tightening of battery terminals, some correct polarities, yes, basic instructions, basic electrical precautions. Do not connect the battery cable in reverse direction. Basic electrical information. Red should be red, black should be black, and green should be green. No crisscrossing. Not nice. Okay, these are the other variant different models. Right here is the 1 kVA. Next to it is um, the 2.5 kVA, then the 5 kVA, and the 10 kVA. Okay, that's the 5 and the 10. This one. This is the one I actually got, the 2.5 kVA, which I will be installing shortly. So, let's flip it and see and get more information. Now, this is the rear view of the 700. VA, 850 VA, 900 VA, 1 KVA. This is the rear, back, the, the rear view. But I got the 2.5 KVA, so let's check out the rear view. This is the rear view for the 1.7 KVA to the 2 KVA. Then right here we have the 2.5 KVA and 3.5 KVA, the rear view. Okay, it has the battery and power selection. It has the battery type selection. It has the EPS selection. It has the battery terminals negative and positive. Yeah, it has the battery MCB, the mains MCB. It has the bypass output terminal, input terminal. The output terminal is the one that takes electricity from the inverter AC to your home. The input is the one that take brings in electricity from your grid or your diesel or gas or petrol generator, which also charges your battery in case you're using it that way without solar okay so this is the rear view for the 5 kva and 10 kva that said we're just gonna check this manuals and go through it completely and know what we're doing with this after power this is troubleshooting you might want to go through all this to know if you get a signal which is not what you expect from the inverter, you know what actually is causing it. Problem, means not available. Action, wait for main supply. Means not available again, problem. Ensure the input plug is properly installed, wait for voltage, normalize or within range. You have this, you might want to go through this carefully. So whatever signal, whatever display you see on the display LCD display of the inverter you know what to do all right so here we have the system specification we have parameters right here and we have models and these are what you need to know the output wave form is pure sine wave right here that's it right there that's for the output waveform, very important. The output voltage range, that's 220 volts plus or minus 10%. Output frequency, 60 hertz, uh, 50 hertz plus or minus 1. Overload, greater than 110%. Charging current, that's when you're charging your battery with this device. For a 100 amp hour to 135 amp hour, it charges with 12 amps, plus or minus 2 amps, factory setting. Charging current for 150 amps amp hour, that's the 150 amp hours to 200 amp hours, it charges with 15 amps, plus or minus 2 amp hours, that's the factory setting. Charge boost, that's when your battery is deeply discharged and is in boost mode. 
it takes it up to 14 volts. That's for a 12 volt system. That will be 28 volts for a 24 volt system, and so on. Charging boost, that's for SMT and um, the tubular batteries. It gets up to 14.5 plus or minus 2 volts for each battery. Then the float charging voltage, that's when the battery is fully charged and it's maintaining the charge. The float charging voltage will be 13.7 volts and this is for a 12 volt system also. If you want to know that for 24 volts and 48 volts, you just multiply it. If it's 24 volts, it will be 13.7 times 2. If it's 48 volts, it will be 13.7 times 4. Okay, so let's see what we have next. All right, this is the warranty card. Dealer signature with stamp. In terms of the product warranty, you might want to know this if you want to make a warranty claim. You might want to know this. Then here, it's the model of what I got. It's actually a 2.5 kVA 24 volt model. All right, so let's go to the inverter.